We know that real estate is a phenomenal platform for wealth creation. We have a vision, the self-funding house, the real estate investment network that is going to support first-time home buyers in creating financial futures because they have the opportunity to invest in real estate and buy their first home. You know, when we talk about, you know, dreams of home ownership, turning those dreams into realities, if we even want to dream a little bigger, and that is when we understand and for those who are in and interested in buying their first property, you know, they look around and they go, gosh, you know, my parents, they only paid X for it and now it's worth Y. And all of a sudden they start to see that wealth creation and creating a financial secure or a financially certain future in the, in, by investing in real estate is a possibility. Now, what's interesting about this is that the banks do favor homeowners. So in other words, investors, yeah, okay, you guys are a little risky, but a homeowner, Canada has a huge track record of people not defaulting. So they want to lend, they're willing, far more willing to lend to the end user. And if you're renting out that basement suite or that, you know, whatever combination of things that you do, that's awesome. But here's the key. Let's dream even one step bigger, and I don't want to overwhelm anybody, but ultimately, at some point in the future, maybe it's five years, maybe it's seven years, all of a sudden this property, you're in a better financial position because you put a plan together, you've maybe gained some equity, you've gained some education and some knowledge. And the next thing you know, the next property you buy when you say, okay, well, no, I'm ready for a different, bigger home. I've got family now, whatever that might be. All of a sudden, I'm going to figure out how to keep this house, use it as an investment property and then go into my next home. So again, it's the possibility of dreaming bigger based on education. So I want to go back and that the education component of it, Rod, is in fact a journey. It's not a switch you flip on and all of a sudden I'm going to go do this. It takes some time to learn what it is. And to what you said earlier, this is not about going it alone. This is not about being on the journey by yourself. This really is an opportunity within the self-funding house ecosystem to be surrounded by others who are on a similar journey with some guidance, with some support. And that's where a real estate investment network comes in. It's where a self-funding house comes in. We have a very clear vision to support home ownership. So when you consider you know, all that's going on, and as we kind of wind this conversation down, we'll leave some links in the description below so that if you're interested in Looking at this journey, what would it take? There's some links there that you can go in, get some free materials, get some insights into what some next steps might be. But Rod, what would be the wisdom that you would leave anybody listening to this conversation with? Any final words that you would want to share? Yeah, absolutely. I want to, I want to kind of springboard off of what you just spoke to. And that is, I believe one of the most important life skills, irrespective of the, the topic we're talking about, one of the most important life skills is financial literacy. You don't mm. have to be a financial wizard. You don't have to be an accountant, a CPA, a CMA, but you need to be literate with finances. And yes, people in, in my generation have developed a lot of wealth just in their home, just because of what's transpired in that area. But in challenge, within challenges like affordability right now, there's always opportunity. And that opportunity tends to be needing the literacy of finances. And so I would always say that the best life lessons are caused and developed when you make the choice to learn and mm -hmm. learn about whatever. I'm, we're talking about finances right here. And I would say that, you know, like Rain, like what you're a part of here, Patrick, is that a lot of people, regardless of whether they pull a the trigger on a self-funding house or not, there's so much to be learned that you will use throughout your entire life and that you can transfer over to your children or future children that, you know, you should at least take that away from this conversation. But mm -hmm. fundamentally, we know and we're seeing firsthand through everything we've done to date, even at the, the beginning phases of what we're doing with the self-funding house, we're going to make a difference. We're going to make a difference in, in what we call a crisis right now. We're going to make a difference in positive change around what we're experiencing in our country. And more importantly, we're going to empower Canadians to take more control of themselves so that they can control things that they can control as opposed to existing and reacting to things that are out of their control. So that's mm -hmm. my, probably my parting message. And uh, hopefully it's global enough for people to realize that, yes, 
When it comes to home ownership, we're talking specifically of the strategy that's working today that they can participate in. But like what you've said, Patrick, is we're thinking much bigger than that. We're thinking that even beyond just getting your foot in the door, there's a journey forward that you may want to learn about and pull that trigger when timing's right for you. Because, you know, in our country, we know that real estate is a phenomenal platform for wealth mm -hmm. creation. We have a vision the self-funding house, the real estate investment network that is going to support first-time home buyers in creating financial futures because they have the opportunity to invest in real estate and buy their first home. And, you know, the mindset shift, the education shift, and I'll leave with this parting word for those who are looking at their first time, you know, we often hear the phrase, I just want to buy my starter home. I just want to buy a starter home. And the implication of starter home is that there's going to be a next one. So when we look at our starter home, our first home as an actual investment, we get far more strategic in our thought process when we have the education to say, okay, this is where I'm starting. It is a journey. It's an educative journey and it's understanding what the markets are doing. We look at a range of considerations in terms of the education. The good news is it's all been done before thousands of times. There is a system, there is a process, it is methodical, it is pragmatic, it is data-driven, and it is, again, a step-by-step -step way of doing it, but learning the process is the most important. And the self-funding house is one of your first steps in learning what it takes to execute on buying your first home. Rod, I want to say thanks so much for joining me on the show today. And we are going to initiate a change and live into the vision of supporting people buying their first home.